Hello Taurus, this is your mid-October 2018, starting mid-October 2018. This will not resonate with all Taurus individuals, but I'm hoping to get the majority. I do shuffle these prior, especially concentrating on your sign, to make sure I get all the energies I need. But this is for Taurus, starting mid-October 2018. Taurus, starting mid-October 2018. A reading for the masses of Taurus. Now feeling like you're getting your blessings in life. That's the emperor in reverse. You're feeling that way. Let's see what beginning energy. I don't use that as beginning energy following out cards anymore. I'll just tell you what they are. But Let's see if Taurus got, got any good energy coming in. Now the story could continue or it could be a totally different new energy. Let's find out what it is. Feeling burdened. Feeling like you're carrying on too heavy of a load. This is the oppression card. Just feeling like you have the world on your shoulders. You feel like you're carrying either everybody else's negativity, including your own, and you can't seem to lift it off. That's the beginning energy coming into mid-October. In the past, you're overcoming heartbreak. Some of you may be stuck in it, but it was heartbreak. It's something that pierced your heart and it bled out to where nothing like that could ever happen again, feel, make you feel so bad. This will be your obstacle, near future, current events, outside environment, the outcome. I'm going to clarify the Three of Swords for Taurus. It's in reverse. Three of Swords, why are you in reverse for Taurus? We already know they're feeling burdened. Let's find out. Three of Swords, why are you there in reverse for Taurus mid-October as the past? Walked away. Could have to do with a third party. I'm seeing a lot of this. Stalker card. Stalker card is where it keeps on popping up in all the readings. And that's the Three of Swords. <clears throat> like I said, it's in the past. And you may have walked away from a third party situation or just something that broke your heart. I mean really broke your heart. Because when you get the Eight of Cups, it's someone walking away crying. Walking away from a certain situation. The way I look at it. Can I get another card for the Three of Swords in reverse with the Eight of Cups? Yeah, something ended and broke your heart. Oh, I am so sorry, Taurus. It's in the past. Something, something terrible happened to you. I am so sorry. Because you got that death card. Something ended. You walked away because it really bled you dry. Okay. The obstacle. You think that would be the obstacle, but it's not. It's the past. The obstacle... Something from the past. This is Six of Cups. It's in reverse. I need another card, another card to tell you fully what it means. Six of Cups, why are you there for Taurus? You may be stuck in the past. Having trouble coming out of feeling trapped. You're trying to break free. Because you had a tower moment. I am so sorry. A tower moment from the past and you're stuck in it. Really broke you. Broke your heart. Maybe not all Taurus feel this way. Could be that uh, you broke someone else's heart too. Could go vice versa. These readings. The energies go back and forth. <clears throat> Current environment or the near future for Taurus. You're going to take a break. You need one. Four of Swords, why are you there? You need to make peace with yourself, <clears throat> and you will, because it is the near future. Four of Swords, why are you there in the upright? And gain happiness. You need to take a break and think about your own happiness. That's why you're doing that. It's why you're taking your break. It's why you're you're um, <clears throat> leaving negative, ne negative situations away from you, because you want happiness. Can I get another card for the Four of Swords and the Nine of Cups? 
because you're tired of the sneaky behavior. You're taking a break from the lies and the deception. You want happiness. What is coming towards Taurus? Mid-October, starting mid-October, what is coming towards you? Strength. It's a good card. Very good card. It's a sun card. It's a wands. It's wands. It's energy. It's coming towards you. Why is the strength card coming towards Taurus? Someone could be a, a type of contract partner. Sometimes it's a marriage partner. Someone that is marriage material coming towards you. That's going to give you strength for just some of you. Others would be family members. Could be a spiritual advisor. Could be a guide coming towards you, giving you strength. Can I get another card for the strength card and the hair font? In the upright, it's both good cards coming towards you. Could have to do with the Prince of Cups. This could be a water energy or someone taking on this energy. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. They are in reverse. So, could be someone may offer you strength, like I said, because of a Prince of Cups, maybe of Texture strength, because this is the why cards. These are the how comes or what's attached to the strength. Strength is there and is coming towards you, but like I said, it could be an actual person offering you something, or it could be something spiritual, a guide. Some of you do have guides, you know? I think we all do. But it has something to do with the Prince of Cups that has turned around, someone emotional, distraught, Puts their feelings on their sleeves, has no problem expressing their dissatisfaction. It could be that somebody is coming towards you that feels this way in their heart and they may offer you a proposal of some sort. I'm not saying all of you, I'm saying it that for a few of you. It's all different things. Let me have another card for the strength card, the Hierophant, and the Prince of Cups in reverse. You know more about this, you can leave it in the comments. Yeah, because someone's coming towards you that doesn't have happiness. The Prince of Cups doesn't have happiness right now. But they're also they're coming towards you. Now this could be actually two different things too. You got someone coming towards you that's not happy, but you also got something coming towards you that's gonna bring stability and strength. Like I said, it'll be a little bit different for everybody. The outcome is that you're a little disappointed still. Taurus is still feeling disappointed. You got the Five of Cups. With the Five of Cups, there are three spilt and two full cups behind you. But the three spilled cups are before you, and that's all you're seeing. You're not going to see the two full cups. You're, you're, just like, you're just too heartbroken. But they're there. If you choose to look at them, they are there. Five of Cups, why are you there for Taurus? What is going on? Why are you the final outcome? Because you just are just still heartbroken. You're just, it's like you're crying. It's like you're not happy. Because you're feeling abandoned. And feeling like nobody wants you. And you're feeling, and you're worried all the time. You're, you are feeling, and you're, the ending energy is the hermit card. You're feeling, you're going within. Now I'm telling you, in the near future, you are going to take a break. And you may become the hermit, but if you don't want this, reject it. Go out, find somebody that you can talk to. If the, or you are one of those tourists that are really having a hard time, because some of you are. You're going to need to take a break so you can regain that happiness, because someone stole your happiness. And you do have some, someone you can go to, someone coming towards you that can bring this to you, the strength, whether spiritual or actual person that may be going through possibly some of the same things you are going through. For some of you, this could be counseling. For some of you, this could be friends, family. 
a spiritual advisor, like I said, or an actual person that may want to commit with you that has experienced some of the same things. Or some of you, like I said, two different situations can be coming towards you. One is someone is going to give you some solid help, but also you may have, still have someone coming towards you that is not happy as emotional, kind of depressed and just not happy. Or it could be for some of you that this person is going to help with this or this advisor or whoever it is is going to help you overcome some of your unhappiness. But the outcome is you're still going to be feeling a little despondent. Even though you've got people behind you willing to help you. But you're still feeling that energy of loss and abandonment and unhappiness. So the only thing you can really do is look at those two of cups if you can. And take on those two of cups. And use them and forget the three of cups that were spilled that didn't work out. And look for the positive things. Look for that strength that is coming towards you. And whoever's out there to help you, like I said, whether it's spiritual or not, someone it can help you regain your strength. But like I said, the hermit's there. You're going to be keeping to yourself. The best thing you can do is break free. And I hope you do. But I will be giving you another reading before November, for November's reading. And let this pass. Let this pass. Let's, let this energy pass and let good things come to you. And I'm sorry that you had that heartbreak. I really am. Talk to you later. Bye.